Hello YouTube, this is TerraForce88 and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the HP PhotoSmart 385 compact photo printer or GoGo photo printer. I'm making this video primarily as a response to NiceNow25. He sent me a video, he sent me a email saying how um, apparently he has a, um, a PhotoSmart 335 um, well, his dad does, and he lost the cables, and he basically needs to know how to use it. Um, so I've, so here we are. This is the 385, which has a few extra features, a few extra buttons, a bigger screen. Um, power cable, um, let's see if I can, it's, a uh, HP... I'm not sure if there's a model number on this. I'm kind of looking at it with my own eyes, and I'm trying to... I don't really see a model number, but I will tell you... Um, it's a 600 milliampere input. It outputs positive 32 volts, 844 milliamps. The positive is the inner pin, and the ground is the outer ring of the... Um, jack and I, I couldn't tell you how big this jack is. You're best off um, going to the HP website. I'm sure they have the same power adapter. It'll be pretty expensive, but it'll at least be your most surefire route. And then if you want to hook it up to a computer, again, there's just a USB cable. Below that's the power. Um, of course, you can always use, you know, memory cards like um, memory stick, smart media, XD picture card, compact flash secure digital. I'll um, plug this printer in, so let me set this down real quick. There. I hope I have a free outlet. Well, I don't, I'll just make one. So the power light's on, which it's kind of booting right now, so once that goes off, which it should here in a second, um, well, come on, there we go. Um, I'll turn it on, and that will not only turn the printer on, it'll pop the screen up, pop the trays out. I think on yours you may have to pop the trays out manually, but watch. I haven't used this thing in a long time. And it sounds like it still works, which is good. There we are. Got a full tank of ink, full ink cartridge. Right back here, this little piece is uh, where you insert the paper. And um, this little thing just kind of holds it up. Um, where is it? Oh, it's over here. This tab is the width adjustment. You put the photo paper in with the glossy side facing you. And you got this this printer's pretty picky about paper. Um, paper size, you're pretty much limited to four inches on the paper width. So for four by six, you can also do four by eight holiday cards, you can do four by twelve panoramas but the paper width is no wider than four inches. I will say the brand of paper, it's very picky about. Um, pretty much any HP brand photo paper will work. Um, I've tried HP Advanced, Premium, and Premium Plus. Premium and Premium Plus give very excellent image quality. Advanced photo paper doesn't, doesn't look nearly as good. I have not tried HP Everyday photo paper. Don't use any other brands. I once tried putting Canon photo, pa printer, photo paper into this, and it wouldn't feed right. Um, right here is the ink cartridge, which is a 95 tricolor in there. It can also accept the 97 tricolor, which holds twice as much ink. Or, where did I put it, the 100 gray photo cartridge if you want to do um, high quality black and whites. I mean, you can do black and whites on the 95, 97, they just won't look as good. So we'll do that. Now I'm going to load some photo paper in. Get my hand off the camcorder. 
And the paper I have is 4x6 HP Premium. You can actually buy all-in-one packs for this printer, where it comes with a, there's a 100 sheet and a 200 sheet version. Um, and it comes with enough ink for the paper, and it's a better deal. If you get the 100 sheet version, it used to be like $29 or 29 cents a print, and then the 200 sheet version was $48 or 24 cents a print, but they've gone up recently, which, of course. Um, so, except I didn't catch that on video. So to load the paper in, load in no more than 20 sheets into here. Just drop it in. Um, don't leave the paper sitting for too long because one of the rollers will leave marks on it. So when you're done with the printer, be sure to take the paper out and close all the covers. Closing this front cover will automatically turn the printer off. Um, now I don't have it hooked up to my computer yet. I mean, you saw the cable plugged in the back, but it's not plugged into my computer. So what I'm going to do is just print the, um, the internal sample page. Actually, yeah, just because of time. Go to tools. And there it is. Because I have no clue how what the condition of the print heads are on this. It's really making a scraping sound now. I don't know why. It started developing that last several times I used it. It's getting louder. So as you can see, the paper's going down. And it'll eventually come out this slot. Um, you can use, obviously, the, the, the printer you know directly attached to your computer. Or you can insert a memory card or a Pickbridge compatible digital camera. Some USB drives will actually work on this port too. And you know, you can browse through the pictures on your screen and print. I almost never do that, only because I like to edit my photos first. It looks like the, um, looks like all the print heads are in good shape. I'm amazed considering I haven't used this thing in months. I'll have to use it some more. This video is w much longer than it needs to be. It really is. I've timed the print times on this printer. On the default settings, it's almost exactly 1 minute and 39 seconds per print. Kinda slow, but gets the job done. One word of warning with the prints I have found, they're not at all water resistant. You get any sort of liquid on them, they're toast. Um, and they also recommend with premium and premium plus papers to wait about a week. I mean, you can handle them as soon as they come out of the printer, but to wait about a week until f f before framing them or um, putting them in an album. So here it is. Here's the sample page I just printed. U plus HP PhotoSmart 300 series. And it's some young girl blowing bubbles and the HP logo. I hope this helps you, nice now 25, and anybody else with a a photo smart compact photo printer. Um, and I know the later models actually used, I think the 110 tricolor, but this one doesn't. Stick with the 95 or 97 tricolor. I think they're actually called. They have different designations in other countries, or the 100 gray photo cartridge. Um, and then when you're done, you just take the photo paper out, close the covers. Closing this front cover automatically shuts it off. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, the only problem is, the again, the power adapter might be an issue. I'm guessing they're not that cheap. Um, and finding, like, a generic equivalent would probably be pretty difficult. But search around the Internet. My best, my best, I would recommend going right from HP. Um... And that's about it. Um, this is Terraforce88. Hope this helps. I'm now signing out.